St. Elizabeth, Jamaica, several relatives of an 82-year-old man who was found dead with his throat slash have been questioned by police in connection with his killing. Stanford Baker, otherwise called for the farmer of Mount Plymouth in Leeds, St. Elizabeth, was found dead at his home by family members last Thursday. It was alleged that the elderly farmer might have been killed for money as a few days earlier he sold several animals. It was also alleged that he had more than 30,000 on him when he was killed and that money could not be found. These allegations, however, have not been confirmed by the police, as efforts to speak with the parish top cop superintendent Kenneth Chin have so far proven futile. Senior Superintendent Stephanie Lindsay, head of the Corporate Communications Unit, the police information arm confirmed that some of Baker's family members were questioned in connection with his killing. Some relatives were asked to come in and they were questioned and allowed to go. There is no one in custody but investigations continue as a spilling the told the news team. A leche grubber shot and injured in halfway three. An leche grubber was shot and injured in the vicinity of the halfway three transport center in St. Andrew on Wednesday. Reports are that the alleged thief grabbed the chain of a man walking in the area. The man, who is said to be a licensed firm holder, reported a chase the alleged chain grabber and shot him. The suspect chain grabber was later accosted by the police who were posted in the area. The hair is no cardoon off. <laughs> Man killed while visiting girlfriend in Negril, Westmoreland, Jamaica. A man was gunned down by unknown assailants while visiting his girlfriend at her home in Little Eight in Negril in Westmoreland on Tuesday night. The deceased has been identified as 43-year-old Gerald Browner of Red Ground Negril in the parish. Reports from the police are that Browner was at his girlfriend's home when she went outside to speak with her mother, who occupies a room at the rear of the apartment. Shortly after, his girlfriend reportedly heard loud explosions sounding like gunshots coming from the room that Browner was in. When the shooting subsided, the report said she went inside to make checks and saw Browner lying on his back inside the room suffering from what appeared to be multiple gunshot wounds to his head and upper body. The police were summoned and he was transported to the Savannah Lamar Public General Hospital where he was pronounced dead.